Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today we're going to make a gluten-free strawberry rhubarb galette. I love rhubarb season and oh my goodness I'm so excited. You might be wondering, what's a galette? Well, a galette is sort of like a pie, it's sort of like a pastry, it's just you use up your leftover pastry and you make, in, make it into like an open tart and it's really yummy and super duper easy. And I want to do rhubarb because it's rhubarb season. And we're going to start by macerating our rhubarb. And macerating is just, you take your chopped up rhubarb, and I've got about three cups here, and you add about a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it. I put a half a cup of sugar in here, and I'm stir I stirred it up, I covered it, and I put it in the fridge overnight. And you can see, I don't know if you can see actually all of the juice. Oh, there, you can see all of the juice in there. And it, that's just what came out of the rhubarb. So we're gonna move this and we're gonna put this on the stove. And I've dumped everything in there. I'll get all of it, there we go. And with that, I wanna add a few strawberries. Now, if you have fresh strawberries, that's great, and you just want to make them into large bite size. I don't have fresh strawberries yet because it's not strawberry season where I am, but I've taken some of the strawberries I picked last year, and I've chopped the really big ones up in half, and I've kept the smaller ones, and I'm going to put those in the pot as well. And it's okay if you have a few extra, because a little bit extra filling, because... It's great on cereal, it's great on ice cream, it's great with everything. So, I'm gonna turn this on. It's already got the sugar in it. So we wanna just give that a light little stir. And before it warms up too much, I'm gonna stir in a half a cup of flour. Go, look at that. Oh, it smells so good already. Okay, so I've turned that down to medium low, and we're gonna get started with making the pastry. So you wanna start with mixing in your Frankie's all-purpose flour. And any all-purpose flour will work, but I love using gluten-free Frankie's all-purpose flour because it works every single time and it gives me excellent results. And I'm going to add my salt and my sugar. My two eggs, and I'm going to crack them in a separate bowl just to make sure that I don't have any shells going in. Look at that, perfect. And my butter. And you might be thinking, he hasn't stirred it yet. That's okay. Because with gluten-free, you don't have to worry about it getting tough or, or crumbly or anything like that. It's just gonna work really well. So I put it all in there. I'm gonna start it on low. And we're just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it. Look at that, it's amazing looking. It just comes right together on its own time and it looks glorious. I'm gonna scrape that off. Now at this point, it should be pretty, pretty workable, but if it's a bit too warm, we can pop it in the fridge, let it set up a little bit more, and then pull it out and roll it out. So we'll have to see just how wet it is. A little bit of flour just to I don't know I think I can work that okay so I'm gonna cut it in half 
So I ended up having to refrigerate my dough. It was just, a, it's so humid today that my dough just didn't have a chance to set up properly. So I've left it in the fridge for over an hour. It's set up, I think, enough, which is great. In the meantime, what's happened is the rhubarb and the strawberry filling has finished beautifully. It's just cooked a little bit. It was about 10 minutes on medium low heat. And when it started to bubble, I stirred it and I shut it off and it was wonderful. So now we're gonna get to rolling this out. And I've got my parchment paper with my cookie sheet and I'm gonna roll it right out onto the parchment sheet. So I'm gonna lightly dust the parchment paper. Okay, and I'm gonna lightly dust my dough. And there's no real way to roll this out because you don't have to worry about it being perfectly round or oblong. It's just you roll it out in any way you want and it, it just works and it's great that way. A little bit more flour. Okay. I'd say that looks pretty darn good. Okay, now we're gonna take our filling. I'm just giving it a light stir. I'm gonna check it for sweetness because now's the time to add a little bit of extra sugar if I need a little bit of extra sugar. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of the, the sauce part. Oh, it's perfect, oh my God. That's really good. <laughs> And I'm going to get a nice big serving spoon and I'm going to put a big pile of it right in the middle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this so far. Yummy. And one more. Okay. You might be saying to yourself, what's he doing? I know it looks so weird, so we're gonna fold this edge up and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna fold this edge up and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna fold this edge up and this edge. Oh my goodness, we've got the starting of a glad. So I'm gonna slide this onto my cookie sheet And we're gonna get an egg and do a light egg wash on it. Okay, so I've got my egg here. I'm going to whisk that up just with a fork. Easy peasy so far. You take your pastry brush and you just lightly brush the edges. Wow, you can see how humid it really is here right now. Because as I'm brushing it, it's leaving little marks on, on the pastry. Okay. And then if you have a little bit of coarse sugar, you just sprinkle a little bit on the edge just to make it look all pretty. Oh, that looks glorious. Okay, so that's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna take a look and we're gonna bite into it. See you in a minute. Look at this galette, it's beautiful. It ended up taking me about 25 minutes in the oven and it's just, it's great. I mean, I'm so excited and it smells delightful. The pastry looks wonderful and I want to cut into it so I'm just gonna cut it I want a nice big piece so let's oh, let's do something like that there we go look at that and I've got my plate here and we'll just take that oh my goodness oh look at the Filling on the inside is just beautiful. I can't get over that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Here is the moment of truth. I mean, 
I, I'm sure I'm gonna like it because I love Pi anyway, and Galette is just like Pi's best friend. Mmm. Oh, it's so subtle, and in in the pastry is so subtle, and it's a bit tart from the rhubarb, but it's a really nice sweetness. It's just. It's so nice. I can't wait for you to give this a try. I look forward to reading all of your comments. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.